Here inside of Illustrator, pressing the T key to jump me to the type tool, or I can find it over here in the tools panel. So out of my artboard just here, if I click and release with the mouse, I have created point type. This is the kind of type that doesn't take a new line until you actually press enter or return. You can see we get this placeholder text coming in by default. Also note that it's selected by default. So if you just simply start typing, you will automatically immediately replace that placeholder text. Still with the type tool, if I click drag and release to define an area, I have created now area type. We get a big block of placeholder text coming in that automatically fills the entire text box. Again, this is highlighted by default. So if I simply start typing, I can immediately replace that placeholder text. Also note guys, up under the type menu, there's an option here, fill with placeholder text. Choosing that, no big surprises. A nice big block of text comes in like so. And I'm just going to select and delete these things because there's one last thing I would like to show you, and that is a preference. Now here in a Mac, Illustrator, Preferences, Type. On a Windows machine, you'll find these preferences at the bottom of the edit menu. And I would like to draw your attention to this option just here. Fill new type objects with placeholder text. So you can see placeholder text is on by default. If I turn this off and choose OK, pressing T to grab my type tool, let's click to get some point type. There's my cursor, no placeholder text. I have to type before I see any text. Let's drag out an area type text box just here. Again, we've got a cursor here, no placeholder text. And once again, I have to type before I see some text. So that's placeholder text here inside of Illustrator. I hope that helps. Catch you later.